Welcome to Leaf Hydroponic Farms. In today's video, we will talk about the next steps to set up a hydroponic farm. Earlier we talked about visiting a hydroponic farm, getting yourself trained and capturing knowledge about hydroponic farming. Today we are going to talk about the next step. The next step is survey. As far as growing in hydroponic farm, various crops is concerned, the scientists, the universities and many organizations, they have perfected the art of growing. You can grow many crops in hydroponic systems, of course, which are of various types. But the best question and the basic question is, can you sell everything? So you will have to conduct a market survey of two types. One is your in your own area about the various crops which you can sell in retail or at the retail outlets. And the second is survey in a bigger command area where you can again sell in retail, in retail outlets, your own farm shops or you can supply to wholesale markets. But you will have to conduct the survey, if not very detailed, some basic ideas what can be sold. What can be sold in your area can very well be grown in the hydroponic systems. That is what I have used the term reverse planning. You are not supposed to set up a hydroponic farm, grow a particular crop and then think about selling that crop. Because various crops are grown in various kinds of hydroponic systems. Some of the crops grow well in NFT systems. Some grow well in grow bag systems, others grow well in slab system, bucket system or in the deep water culture. So what you can sell, you should backward calculate and decide what kind of crops you will grow and based on that you will decide what kind of hydroponic system you should set up in your farm. Friends, if you hire a consultant, go ahead, but don't go by the advice of the consultant to set up a particular system because in that system you will be able to grow only a particular kind of crop. If you grow that crop, there is a luxuriant growth, you are very well satisfied, but you are unable to sell it, then your whole farm will run into trouble. So the best way is conduct the survey, decide on the crop, decide on the system and then set up the hydroponic farm. We call it as the reverse planning. The second step is, once you decide to set up a hydroponic system, then you hire a consultant. A consultant who is committed to you, not to the sellers of the hydroponic equipment. Friends, let me tell you, people make lot of money, lot and lot of money out of the various equipment selling for the hydroponic systems. It begins with the land. Don't set up a farm which the land is very costly. If it is your land, ghar ki murgi dal barabar. But if you buy land which is very costly, your project will go non-viable right in the beginning even before the start. So buy marginal land 
which doesn't have a good soil which might not have a good ground water and you can start your farm on that land the consultant should be asked to buy everything propose everything based on three list which you will decide beforehand these three lists will be the first list the equipment and the system which are absolutely necessary you cannot have a farm without that to give an example is reverse osmosis plant genset second list should be it is good to have the systems in that list like should you have environment control should you have automation yes good to have but you can do without it and the third list is need not have there are many equipments available in the world which are viable in the western world in usa in israel in japan in australia in europe but the cost of such a equipment is very heavy in our country and you can set up a hydroponic farm even without that equipment that goes into the third list give this list to the consultant hold discussion on every equipment hold discussion on every system you want to acquire and then go to the market for competitive pricing i will give you a very small example which i faced during my setting up a hydroponic farm there are automatic curtain rolling small dc motors i asked for a quotation for that motor i got a quotation 24000 per piece of the motor and i needed four meter motors so they gave me a quotation of 96000 every motor had three components the motor proper a small starter which had toggle switches and a climber all these these three equipments were quoted at 24000 per piece so i had to shell 96000 for setting up four motors to roll my curtain automatically you will be surprised when i checked in the market and acquired those motors one motor costed me 3600 rupees and i got all the motors in less than 16000 rupees i never needed a climber of course i needed a starter but you can do it without it also by getting it fabricated from your local market so i would have spent 96000 whereas i spent only 20000 rupees on four motors so this is the kind of excessive money charged from the farmers by the suppliers in connivance with sometimes the consultants so have a faithful consultant who should be loyal to you who should not be loyal to the suppliers of various equipment of hydroponic systems the third thing is please plan on the whole plot of the land different components right in the beginning may not set up all the components in one go you need a poly house you need a head house you need a rain harvesting structure you need a small cold storage you need a pack house and you need some open area all these things should be pre planned commensurating with your need where you will put what on the piece of land which you have acquired for the hydroponic system or where you want to set up a hydroponic system 
you may not have a cold store in the beginning you may not have a pack house in the beginning you may not have a rain harvesting structure in the beginning but all these structures when you put up at a later stage they should merge into a whole unit of the hydroponic farm it should not look as if somebody have planned it at a later stage so all these things you will have to take care what kind of polyhouse you need what kind of ro you need what should be the capacity of the ro reverse osmosis system what should be the capacity of your diesel generator set how big should be your head house how much storage of raw water you should have outside the poly house and the set house how much storage you should have inside the poly house subterranean tanks or tanks placed outside all these things should be planned right in the beginning and not any later stage gentlemen one of my friend in delhi has a hydroponic farm in 500 square meter he is using a 3 horsepower motor to run his system and you won't believe that i have a hydroponic farm which has a polyhouse of 4000 square meter two polyhouses but i am using only one horsepower pump to irrigate the entire crop that is where you unnecessarily waste resources and make your poly house or make your hydroponic farm uneconomical people say you spend 10000 rupees per square meter people say you spend 8000 rupees per square meter for setting up a hydroponic farm but that is not the kind of money you require to set up a viable hydroponic farm of course you can set up a hydroponic farm at 20000 rupees per square meter you can buy a car for 4 crore rupees and you can buy a car for 10 lakh rupees or even less than that both the cars will take you on any journey you want to do but the question is what is the economic input to your business of that car what is the benefit of that car to you similarly you have many variations in hydroponic systems the basic question is what kind of system you should have is it economical to set up or install any equipment which is so costly we will discuss each and every equipment with reasons why you should have why you should not have how economic it is to have it what are the variations in the cost of your hydroponic farm if you set up what is the economics of the hydroponic farm if you set up at a higher price or if you set up at a lower price we will talk all these aspects of hydroponic farming keep on watching our videos on our youtube channel and if you find the videos or our knowledge disseminated on this channel is good for you please don't forget to like our channel do subscribe to our channel and do share this information these videos with your friends who are keen on setting up a hydroponic farm who want to learn about the hydroponic farm we at the leaf hydroponic farm are committed to disseminate this knowledge to everyone in the world whosoever want to enter into hydroponic farming want to learn about the hydroponic farming thank you very much we will talk about different components of the hydroponic farm in our next video the video wait till then thank you all